Muscle inflation. Muscle muscle inflation. Muscle inflation. Muscle inflation. Muscle inflation. Muscle inflation real. Do you like your boys bulky? He will be. Bulky with shorts? That's insane. Oh my god, he got to jorts, he got to meat. Why am I beefy? If I lose the mask, do I lose the beef? Oh, a little smackerel of honey. Oh, I want a big pot of honey. Oh, shit. Ooh, the blood is oozing up into me. I'm full of blood. Oh my god, I'm filled to the brim with bone, too? That's insane. People got bone in they. Oh my god, I got bone in me. That's insane. I'm like Wolverine, but with bone claw. Come on, let's kill. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, the level of gunk here. What in the goddamn, the level of blood in this son of a bitch. Oh, and it's all white too, to juxtapose the fucking blood. Oh, I'm splatting, dude, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm splatting out, dude, I'm fucking. Oh my fucking god, what is this music, by the way? I'm like terrified, is this shit fucking copyright? One second, I gotta fucking, ooh, where's the music? Music, I can turn it down a little bit. We'll do four. I know it's like cool rock, but I don't know if it's like a exclusive soundtrack. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful because of copyright. I don't want somebody to pick up this screaming and think it's the fucking Souls of the Damned famous band for Splatterhouse. The music is real bands. Okay, well, I turned it down. Now you're just getting goopy, goopy, goopy fucking bone and wet meat sound, just like any streamer would want you to see. All right, what other buttons do I have? Do I have a grab? Okay, there I have a grab. I have a big attack. Come get some. Suck my ass, you demon slorps. What did I do to d deserve my, like, wife getting stolen? Did I, am I like the museum curator? Was I just coming to like this funny little mansion to reserve a spot for our wedding? What did I do to deserve such a horrible meat nightmare? Yeah, what kind of mask are you? Why am I wearing you like Jim Carrey's the mask? Somebody stop me! Who does the voice for the mask? Fucking Jim Cummings, the voice of Pooh. Fun fact, that's Pooh in my head. Head literally filled to the brim with shit, eh, Brendan? No, Pooh, from Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Little smackerel of honey. Ooh, need my jar of delicious honey. Ooh, crank me back a little bit. Ooh, kill those demons. They're trying to break into the beehive. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah! What in the goddamn? Oh! That's viscous as fuck! Ooh! Oh my god, his lungs and heart and everything! Holy crap! He like punched a hole straight through that guy! Oh, get him! Yes, crush his head! We love to see it. <sighs> I'm feeling brutal. I'm feeling like a savage. I showed you my mask, please respond. Hey, it's me, Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Have you seen the Nostalgia Critics Wall review? Well, you should. I'm in that. Just a reminder, Corey Taylor from Slipknot is in the Nostalgia Critic The Wall review, and so is his son. I would play a Slipknot game, not gonna lie. Uh, play Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. It's got Slipknot in it. Oh my god! <sighs> I'm gonna be accidentally collecting these scraps and forming boob picture. Oop. Jenny left me her hotted boob picture for me to find. I would like to not find it on purpose, but if I do find all of it and it's a happy little accident, well, that how it be, it be. Oop. Oh my god, he took my freaking wife and now I have to fight his gibbering creatures. Just crush them. Crush them. Pop these goons. Just pop them. Like a pimple. These look like the children zombies from Dead Space 2. Like, come here, you little freak. I'm going to fill this room up with blood. An insane amount of blood. Oh my fucking god. They're really getting a lot of use out of that blood PNG. Me when I fucking... I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting splatted left and right over here. What a very kid-friendly game. I know, I'm a very Christian streamer. Hey, everybody. Just after I killed all those goons, remember, always brush your teeth. Ow, my side hurts. But remember, always brush your teeth and wash your hands. See, it's definitely a kid's game. All the guy has to do is say, Hey, I know I just killed a bunch of those goons, and there's blood literally everywhere, covering the walls and the floor. But that's cool. Remember to wash your hands. Take care of yourself, maybe. Remember to always floss. Ah, good. I always love finding a 2x4 in the meat hole. Was that the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Even the faces are gibbering. That's insane. Oh, oh! I got a little achievement you got right on you. I love Shaun of the Dead. I love Shaun of the Dead. That's a great bit. Yeah, I'd rather play this game over, like, Brutal Legend. I know Brutal Legend... You know what? This game actually needed, probably. If they could have gotten Jack Black for this game, I bet this game would have sold way better. Am I dead? 
Oh, I'm definitely fucking dead. Oh, shit. Use splatter siphon against enemies to regenerate health. Okay, I'm learning. Oh, we got those Gears of War loading screen. Prototype is better, just saying. Prototype is definitely a video game. That's all I'll say about Prototype is it's definitely a video game. Prototype 2, definitely a video game. Yeah, I should not die because these loading screens, uh, this is taking a while. Yeah, it really likes to show me these two guys. There we go. So I definitely shouldn't die because it takes a long time. Okay. Man, sometimes I forget. I'm so used to, like, modern video games taking, like, three seconds to load to the next place that, like, I'm not used to the 360 and how fucking long loading screen can be. Get a load of this! <laughs> Splatterhouse remake where you're Dr. Eggman instead. Fucking get a load of this! Where did it say siphon? Oh, I suck blood by... Okay, LB and... L... Left trigger and B. Got it. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the park. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Oh, what do you got? Oh, we done? Did I kill all of them? Clearly not. Don't mind splatting them, though. Oh, the door closed again. Was I supposed to run over there? Get him. Get him. Get him. Rip him to shreds. Hop. This is what your mom doesn't want you to play. Your mom does not want you to play this game. Your mom sees you playing this game, and she's going to get really fucking upset. She's going to get so fucking mad if she sees you playing Splatterhouse, dude. She's going to take away your Xbox privileges for a whole month. Let's pop this guy. Pop him. Take his lungs out. Free lungs! This is literally how strong I feel when I don't use the self-checkout at Walmart. I feel this strong whenever I walk up to the clerk and actually, like, y like talk to them. Just pop them. Oh, you can get two of them at the same time. Fog. Just pop them. Pop them. I'm just, I'm just popping these goobers. I'm just popping them. Ain't gotta worry about it. They're there for blood. Give me all the goo. Give me all the gunk. I'm so fucking sorry. What do I play the level that's like in a blood bank? Step on boar worms? They got worms to step on in this game? Who the fuck didn't tell me about the worm meat blood game? I'm glad I purchased this. It was worth it. What the hell? Who the fuck the big guy filled to the brim with meat? That should be me. I should be filled to the brim with meat. Not my fucking arm, dude. You can't just take a little trophy like that and run away. Was he making the babies in like a pod? Was he making the meat babies real? I'll grow a new one. Don't worry about it. Ooh, lost limbs regenerate. Need a hand? No, son of a bitch. I'm not picking them up on purpose. I'm not picking them up on purpose. They're saving the boob part for last. I swear I'm not picking them up on purpose. So this doctor has been around for Dever? That's insane. He'd be making meat monsters all day, every day, without a goddamn care in the world. Right into playing RE5 Local Co-op with my friend. This game is total ass and I love it. I'm understanding your love for crusty 360 PS3 shooters. I'm trying to, I keep trying to tell people. My love of old crusty games is, it has a purpose. Oh, pod boys. Oh, pod boys coming out of their pod. Oh, grab him. Yep, rip, oh, to shreds? Oh, I fucked up. Did I fuck up? I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. I got, like, clipped through the wall there for a second. There we go. Arm and a leg. Ooh, arm and a leg. Take that, pod boys. Don't fuck with me. I like to think the mask was like, nah, uh, uh you can't just walk through this area. You gotta be able to fight all these goons and goobers before you walk through this area, nerd. We're gonna send you to the meat dimension to fight forever. Forever, you say? Meat dimension, you say? Please don't be silly platforming. Please. Okay, good. Just walking around and making blood. Walking around here making blood milkshake. That's how I like it. Mark and Dan? Not anymore, dude. Not anymore. Markiplier and Brent Daniel? Not anymore, dude. Not anymore. <laughs> I can't get out of that hold because I think they want me to use my thumb on, like, the L stick to move it, but I never do that. So, like, I have this, uh... I have this problem where, like, I'm not going to fucking try to use my thumb on the L-stick. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to move my right hand over and use the palm of my hand to do the prompt. And if I don't have that extra second to move my hand over, I can't get out of it, see? Like, my brain doesn't think, oh, I need to use my left thumbstick to get out of it. My brain thinks, oh, I need to move my right hand over to my left, the left thumbstick to get out of it that way. And so it's just a really fast prompt that you're supposed to just left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right with your thumb. And I can't do that. I don't have thumbs that good. I'm so fucking sorry, Splatterhouse video game. Just beat, just whip him. Just fucking send him to the goddamn blood zone. No thumb gaming. I have thumbs. I'm not saying that I don't have thumbs. Conspiracy theory. Brendan has never had thumbs. 
please don't do a conspiracy theory that I've never had thumbs. That'd be so fucked up. I'd be so fucking sad. I don't want to see posts like that on Reddit.com, please. Never had thumbs. Literally, chrome literally pre-human evolution. Brendan never evolved the thumbs. Brendan's actually descended from fish. Real? All the clips where we see your hands are fake. They're not. I swear. I have hands. I have hands. Sorry, Brendan. You gotta fight this demon to get your thumbs back. Oh, not again. Oh, we got a funny health bar. He a big guy, ain't he? I just gotta beat on him until he does his aerial. And then, ooh, or his big boy bump. Grab him. Ooh, yes. That's what I like to see. Choke him. Oh, and Puppy Head. Jesus Christ. That was brutal. This really is a fucking house. You can access skill upgrades any freaking time. Oh, dude, awesome. Did that weapon just disappear? Was that head that I could have grabbed, but I wasn't allowed to? This is so fucking sad. No head? Not for my boy Rick? No Rick head? This is fucked up. That face. Oh, my fucking God. This game is Kino. This game is very Kino. I'm just saying it. I'm putting it out there. This game is Kino. She really did soy face really fucking hard. It was great. I love these little creatures. I hope they have names. Not like video game creatures are named, but I hope those two on the main menu screen are individually named. That'd be great. What do you mean the doll that bled? Is my GF Jenny going to turn into the doll from Bloodborne? Oopie, got scared. There we go. Get fucked, nerd. Pop ya. I'm gonna pop you like a pimple on Dr. Pimple Popper, and then we're going to see you getting popped in a TikTok fucking video that is 30 seconds long and has Sewer Surfer's gameplay underneath of it. Don't fuck with me. You will get subway surfed. You will get sewer surfed. Sewer surfing you right now, you son of a bitch. Get fucking sewer surfed. You're gonna get so many coins. Fucking die. Ooh, free hand? Huh. Need a hand? I'm going to collect your fluid. It's going to be epic. Mama's making meat pies in the kitchen. Great, great job. Great joke, Jim Cummings. Great joke, by the way. I suppose this is the Glee Club. Nah, this is the Mimi Club. Oh no, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that picture from Jen's pictures. No, 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 no. Stop picking those up. Listen, Splatterhouse. Listen, Splatterhouse, Ricky. I know what you want and I know what you crave, and it's boop, but I'm not giving that to you today. Listen, Ricky, you gotta talk to me here. I'm a I'm a Christian streamer. Blood's cool, cause Jesus had that in his body, but boob? Jesus never had boob. It's right there in the Bible. Jesus never had boob. Oh, did I do it? Oh, they just open if you kill all the enemies. I thought I had to do it like on the circle. Punch to eyeball. <laughs> Let me squirt these eyeballs, dude. Oh, was the other one extra enemies? Oh, I just got the first one. The first one was right. Oh, it was a puzzle. I didn't even realize. The puzzle master strikes again. You ready to get saucy? This is how every pizzeria makes their homemade sauce with a cleaver just like this. 2.5D! Oh my god, there's so much gibbering flesh out here. I like that they can move down that hallway, but I'm not allowed to move down that hallway. I have to keep moving the way that I want to move. I get it. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh my god, he's fucking sucking. He's just luxury. He's just chilling. He's just chilling with his feet out and everything. I want to be that guy. That's that's the life. Get me in a cage. Get me a tube filled with oats and grains to feed me. I mean, just put me outside. As long as I have oats and grains and a little bit of water and a hamster ball. Not a hamster ball, but a little hamster water bottle. I'll be good. You set me up like that, all I need is a little bit of food, a little bit of water. Bring me to the coastline and put me out here above, ab above the ocean. I just want to chill above the waves. I want to look at the fish all day, every day. That's my life now. Oh, this is excellent platforming. Just like Mario. This is what Mario needed. He needed to be able to punch guys into a pile of bones. Mario needed to be able to punch guys into a pile of bones and also to have a lot of bloody kill moves. This is why kids don't like Mario these days. Brendan says, as he knows that the Mario movie made a billion dollars. Dr. West's hand job nice job, Jim Cummings. Of course you would say hand job dungeon. You're funny. You have cum in your name. Mario in Unreal Engine 2. Oh my god. Nintendo hired this man real? I would love it. If, I would love it if Nintendo hired this man. Sega definitely hired that man, but what if Nintendo hired that man? Oh no, don't pick that. Okay. Who? that was just like... It was just legs. It was just legs. We're fine. It wasn't the boob part. It wasn't the boob part. It was just legs. It was just legs. It was just legs. Chat's enraged that it wasn't boob. Y'all are going to be going feral for the boob moments in this game, aren't you? I can't fight. Literally feral. So feral, you're going to be like a ghoul from Fallout. Please, Brendan, collect the breasts. I don't want to collect any breasts, please. 
Stop yelling at me and telling me that I need to collect breasts to gain knowledge and power in fucking Splatterhouse, please. Divorced dad game. I... <laughs> this is the type of game... You know what? Fuck it. You're so right. You're so right. This is a divorced dad game. This is the kind of game your dad would be playing in his fucking bachelor pad in his one-bedroom apartment. On his Xbox, smoking a big joint, being like, Oh, dude, you see that blood there? You know what, actually, this is a game a dad would buy, but then never play, because it, 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 it's kind of got that energy to it of a dad would buy this and then never play it. Or like your weird friend who really, really wants to join the army, but won't be able to pass like the mental fitness test. If there are any leeches in any boxes or barrels, I will find them. I will find every secret leech. I'll grab them for my mom's famous berry, uh, leeches and cream pie. I was going to say berries and leeches, but that weren't leeches and cream. Brennan, what do you think is the ultimate weird kid game? That's an interesting question. Um, hmm. You know, let me think on it a little bit. I, I want to say this game just because I'm playing this game, but as somebody who was a former weird kid, I'd probably say it, 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 there are two distinct archetypes to weird kid that I can immediately think of. Three, actually. Uh, one of them is the military weird kid, one of them is a soft weird kid, and one of them is a hard weird kid. Right? So... Soft weird kid, which was what I was, uh, definitely Katamari Damacy, like right off the bat. First thing I think of is as a former soft weird kid, uh, and somebody who's like a soft weird man, definitely Katamari Damacy is a soft weird man game. I'm gonna go with Katamari Damacy. You can say Kingdom Hearts, but I think Kingdom Hearts is too popular. Something a little less popular than Kingdom Hearts, but still like weird enough, right? Because I'm not gonna say just Kingdom Hearts is like the soft weird kid game, because there are a bunch of kids who played that fucking game. There are a bunch of Disney girls who played that game too. So I, I I would say I would say for me at least as somebody who was a soft weird kid, Katamari Damacy. Hard weird kid, uh N64 easily, easily would be Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Um PS2 is gonna be your fucking like disgusting, like bloody type game. Uh trying to think of a good PS2 analog for that. Like a like a hard weird kid. Maybe Postal 2 or Postal 1, that would make sense. Hard Weird Kids, I think, would probably be more of a PC gamer than anybody else. Manhunt. Manhunt and Grand Theft Auto were exclusively, like, for the Hard Weird Kids. I mean, everybody played Grand Theft Auto, but definitely, like, Manhunt. Slop games. They'd use the PS2 meat controller. Let's be real, though. Resident Evil. Also, Hard Weird Kid game. When I was a kid, nobody fucking talked about Resident Evil except for that one kid whose mom was, like, really obsessed with horror movies. Was I a Hard Weird Kid? You're watching Brent Daniels, so it's incredibly likely that you were a Hard Weird Kid. Let me just be honest with you, 90% of Brent Daniel fans were hard weird kids, even though I was a soft weird kid. I don't ascribe to a heart like a soft weird kid audience. Then there's military weird kid who would play games like Operation Flashpoint, uh, fucking Medal of Honor all the time, always talk about fucking Spec Ops video games. And that's, that's the military weird kid IMO. Oh, it's supposed to just go up here? Twisted Metal gotta be in the conversation somewhere. Yeah, if you're talking like PS1 levels, or maybe even just Twisted Metal Black for PS2. Hard Weird Kids had a ton of games. Soft Weird Kids were more about, like, Pokemon and Sonic and Katamari Namasi and... Those are, the, like, the three archetypes of Weird Kid I can think of. Soft Weird Kid, Hard Weird Kid, and Military Weird Kid. You'd be more like a McElroy if you were trying to cultivate a soft, weird audience. Here's the thing is, I was a soft, weird kid. I was a... I love Pokemon and I love, uh... I, I love Katamari Namasi. But I'm not a soft, weird kid now. There, I, I, like I said, 90% of the Brendanial audience, I think, is hard weird kids. But the other 10% is soft weird kids. Get to bed with the dingus. All right, you son of a bitch. Open me the fuck up. Jenny! Oh, please don't freak out, Jenny. Oh, no, Jenny became a meat monster in the meat dimension. This is fucked up. Fighting the analogs of my fucking girlfriend. They're all naked and afraid and covered in, entirely in flesh and blood. Oh, my God, I'm fighting inside of Jenny's mind. I'm in the meat dimension. I'm in the meat zone. This is fucking awesome. Dude, I love being in the fucking meat dimension. Is my favorite thing. I'm a medium weird kid. No, 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 no. There is no, there are no shades of gray for, for weird kids. You were either a hard weird kid, a soft weird kid, or a military weird kid. There's no way you were a medium weird kid. If you say you're a medium weird kid, it means you weren't a weird kid. Dare I say you were maybe even normal. But I played Resident Evil and Katamari Damacy. Yeah, but which one do you like more? You gotta pick a side in the weird kid dimension. Dream Core Web Core is definitely a nowadays weird kid thing. Oh, yeah. There are, a, there are a lot of kids, and I mean, this is true for any generation, is I think there are always a lot of kids who obsessively uh, uh, wish that they'd grown up in, like, the 90s or early 2000s for now, 
I, I think there will always be an, an amount of, like, people in their teens who wish they'd grown up, like, in an earlier generation, like, long, wrong-led generation kids. And I think Dreamcore, Webcore kids are definitely those types of people. Like, loving the idea of, like, the YouTube poop world without actually engaging with it when it was at its prime. Like, there is a... I, 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 talking to somebody who is, like, 19 and them, like, talking and gushing about YTPMV is actually insane to me as somebody who's almost 30. Because, like, yeah, it's around, but, like... What the hell? Is that my wife? Oh, God, I'm dead. Suck the blood out. How the fuck do I fight this thing? I just beat the fuck out of it. Okay. It's just blue. They got the blue blood in there. Get the blue blood out of the creature. Give me that leeches and cream. Which, not to say that that's like a bad thing to be like a l l wrong generation kid. Uh, I don't mean to infer that that's a bad thing. It's just always like weird when somebody is more knowledgeable about something that you grew up with because it was their hyperfixation for a while. It's like, do you remember, do you remember Furbies? It's like, yeah, I grew up with Furbies. I didn't grow up with Furbies. Let me tell you about every factory issued Furby that has ever existed. It's like, what the fuck? How do you know so much about this shit that it was just like in the in like the goodwill when I was a child? But yeah, I don't think I don't think the wrong generation is 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 the apropos term completely. But there there are a lot of people who uh, obsess about like the past or things in the past. Furby sucked. See, I'm inclined to agree with you, but I do love seeing people make horrible machinations with Furbies. I do love seeing like the bean Furby. Have you ever seen the bean Furby? Somebody made a Furby out of beans and resin. The bean Furby is always on my mind. Let me just tell you something. If if I'm not thinking about anything in that moment, I'm thinking about the Bean Furby. If there are if there are points in my life where I'm not thinking about something, I'm definitely thinking about the Bean Furby. It's always in the back of my fucking head. Oh, crawl down hole real? Oh, I was supposed to jump on a big button. Oh man, I couldn't believe it. Oh good. Is this gonna be another 2.5D? Okay, it's not 2.5D. I just gotta avoid the spike. Bean Furby is a holy item. I agree. I'm inclined to agree. That's who I'm thinking of. Not not the tiger from Pooh when it comes to Jim coming. You know who I fucking think of is Pete. I keep fucking forgetting. Jim Cummings is also Pete in Goofy. Oh, I have to go into here. Ah, fight the babies. Rascally, once again, I found myself in the baby hole. Probably should not say baby hole. The children love to eat human flesh. Me? I'm a burger guy. Love me, big burg. Okay, dude. Oh, scary. No, 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 don't pick that up. Okay, good. No. Ooh, so... <laughs> I'm just barely saved by the rip. I, <laughs> I <laughs> literally just barely saved by the rip in the page. Insane. I <laughs> if you hatred, then is your name not important? No, my name is Ricky. I'm looking for my girlfriend, Jenny. I'm not the hatred guy. That'd be silly. My name is Ricky. I'm a normal guy who loves to hang out and punch furniture, just like any normal guy does. Oh my god, he cut- Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god, I got stunlocked by that guy. I gotta figure out a name for these two goons. How about Gary and Jerry? Gary and Jerry are fighting on the loading screen. That'll work. The two sweet boys are hungry. They need to feast. Let loose the dogs of war. Do you think they said that on the battlefield and then took their shoes off? I'm just saying. I'm- Oh, god damn it, I gotta redo from here. Of course I do. Give them they Thursday steak them. Get into the big jar of bone treat and give them a little bone treat. This looks like a background game a movie character would play. You're thinking of Grandma's Boy. Grandma's Boy is the definitive video game a character in the background would play. And it was a video game that got canceled before release, which is still insane. Because I think that Grandma's Boy is also all about that game. And then that game never fucking got to come out. Never got to came out. Never got to come out. I still think about that game. Day to day, I think about that fucking video game from Grandma's Boy. To shreds, you say? Oh, I fucked it up. What, are you serious? Yeah, the movie Grandma's Boy has a video game in it. The video game uh, was supposed to release, uh, so they let them use the footage for the game for the movie, and then the video game never came out. It's called Demonic. Oh, yeah, Demonic. On the original Xbox. Game never releasing. Heartbroken. Sag. Well, they gotta add a K to the end of the Demonic. That's what, that's what makes it edgy and cool. It's so big. Jim Cummings, please, stop please stop being horny mask. It's right there. I can pick it up anytime I want. It's right there. It's right there, and I can pick it up anytime I want and complete the boob picture. It's right there. I can complete the boob picture, but I won't. Because that's nipples, and that's no good. Not on my Twitch stream. Christian stream. No nipple. Nipple, pri nipple privileges revoked. Sorry, I can't complete the porn picture. 
Oops. Is that Jenny with an incredibly round head? What the fuck? Why is that Jenny with an incredibly round bobblehead? What the fuck? Oh no, that's a little haunted doll. Oop. Okay, you little piece of shit. Oh god, good, you're full of meat. Good to know. Wish you weren't full of meat, but holy, what in the goddamn holy fucking shit? Had to fucking say something, didn't I? Now I gotta fight the big meat creature. Oh my god, it's god. It's one of those bosses where I can't attack it during certain moments. So I just have to fucking, like, avoid the avoid the furniture being thrown at me. This is gonna be one of those bosses where I can only attack it during certain moments, isn't it? Why does it have a clock tower on its hand? Where the fuck did it get a clock tower from? Who the fuck has an entire clock tower in their fucking house? Like, in the house. I'm trying to look out. Jesus, I'm trying to dodge roll like a Dark Soul character over here. I'm fighting- I need the giant sword to be able to fight this fucking thing. This thing's a gimmick, boss. Oh, come on. I can beat the fuck out of you. Easy peasy, no problem. Then I can suck some blood out of you. Do your big boy attack. Yeah, that's right. Fucking pound the ground. Ground pound, you son of a bitch. Pound the ground, I dare you. There'd be a doll in there. You don't even have a kick. You're fucking stupid. You're fucking stupid. Punch that big body until the doll fall down. There we go. Get up in there, rip the doll out of there. Suck them out. Suck the doll out the big machination body. Rip and tear until it is done. Open up. Open up. Open up. There we go. Now the flesh is exposed. Good. Phase two. I think it's funnier with the with the music incredibly light in the background because of the DMCA concerns. Oopy. Oh, do I gotta like watch the floor now? Oh shit. Oh good, good platform boss. Oh good platform boss. What a fucking gold standard here. Come on, do your big ground attack. Or don't. This shit looks like somebody's mimic character in DD, somebody's fucking homebrew mimic character. There we go. Rip the chest now. Salt the wound. Be like a Borderland psycho with sweet kicks. Oh, teeth, 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 teeth. Oh, sorry. I'm a little dentist. Oopy. Bottom floor. Oh, God. Are you back in the furniture throwing phase? You fucking nerd. Oh, throw your furniture. Oh, you're swaying. Where'd you even get the extra furniture from? I see the flesh flower up there, but where'd you get the extra furniture from? From the, like, house? In this scary cave we're in? That's somehow underneath this house? Oh, I gotta watch out for those waves. Ooh, nice punch. Punch and pull. You have great attacks, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, great attacks. Good fucking job. Genuinely so proud of you. Mommy would be proud too if mommy was still around. Why don't you be come back with me and my wife, little haunted doll? I'll adopt you. I'll make you my scary baby. People would love to be my scary baby. I want one of those American Girl dolls, but I want them based on American Horror Story, so they're called American Horror Story American Girl Dolls. I think that'd be a really good- I think that'd be a really good bit. Alright, don't fucking pound me. Don't fucking ground pound me. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. I don't know you. Sorry, the heel makes me invincible, so I'm taking advantage of it. Oop, oop. Nice, ground pound. Groundage and poundage? Fucking epic, dude. Gotcha. Now I get to suck the- Now I get to suck the doll out of the hole. I did enough damage to enough street signs. Now I'm entering blood mode. Gotta watch out for these fucking quick time events, because I never know the timing on them. It's very Pacific. Very Pacific indeed. Ooh, big boy slaughter mode. Oh, I just fuck. Yeah, I, 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 I. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Fuck. Stop hitting yourself. This is so fucked. Oh, shit. This is so goopy. <laughs> I don't know why that's the funniest shit ever is there's just a tiny doll in there and that thing's fucking evil, so we better crush it. Mama. Oh, it is saying that. Fuck off. Mama. Mama. Slop out of the meat hole now, Rick. Oh, no. He's portaling my fucking girlfriend to the meat dimension. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> American Doctor Who be like, bow, 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 bow. Rick kind of looked like the postal dude. Kind of looked like the postal dude pre postal. So he's just like, instead of, would you like to sign my petition? It's, would you like to sign my petition, please? And instead of saying, fuck, I feel better already, he says, darn it, I feel great. We're in the capital wasteland. This is just like Fallout 3. It's a mix of the pit and Fallout 3. That's insane. They still got demons out here, though. Come back here. Don't fucking run from me. They kind of shaped like the Joker from the Batman cartoon series. That's insane. They're about to be the Kevin Michael Richardson Batman. <laughs> Laugh at me. 
It's okay though. I'll go Joker mode. I'll go Joker mode far before they go Joker mode. The Batman cartoon was good. I'm gonna fight you on that. I think it was fine, but I will fight you on good. Only because Kevin Michael Richardson and Joker is great, but they fucking did. They did. They did some of my boys so dirty. Watch out for boob photo. Their version. Of, yeah. The, oh no. Okay. That's definitely not gonna be boob. All right. Good. Okay. We're fine on that one. That one's definitely... There's no fucking way that one's gonna be boob. Please don't be flashing titty in that one, Jenny. I fucking... Please don't be. Oh my god, this menu. This menu is so fucking slow. What is this? Oh, yeah, I want one more. Necro bar. Necro bar? Why does it sound like a lich's favorite candy bar? Love me my necro wafers. You know what? That's a good joke. What is a fav... What is the lich's favorite snack? Necro wafers. Thank you. Thank you. Genius level joke. You're so fucking welcome. I'll be here all week. I'll be here all week. I'll be here the week after that, too. And then maybe the week after that as well. Are you splattering? Absolutely. I'm going all the time. You literally can't stop me. I hate it here. <laughs> no, that's a skeleton's favorite snack is spare ribs. A lich's favorite snack is necro wafers. You're welcome. What is, what is a skeleton's favorite snack? Dude, I don't know. What is a skeleton's favorite snack? Dude, I don't know. What? is a skeleton's favorite snack. Ribs! Spare ribs! Come out of the cargo containers. Oh my god, what did they do to the Garfield phones? Me, me, me. I have a slow down button. I can slowly approach the enemy like that. Trudging through the sludge hole. Oh, a little puzzle. Do I get crane controls? Holy shit, they got the fat boy sign. I get, oh, no, okay, good. I was really afraid that this video game would have a fucking crane control minigame, and I was going to freak out. Because what a fucking odd thing to put in Splatterhouse on the Xbox 360. I was going to ask her to marry me. Not anymore, says Jim Cummings. You know what's insane? How many people in the Pit DLC think that eating the baby with the cannibal perk is an option that's built into the fucking Fallout game normal? I was talking to Mandy about this, and even Mandy thought that the, uh, the Pit DLC allowed you to eat the baby with the cannibal perk normal and it wasn't a mod. And I was like, why would that be in a Fallout game? You cannot eat the baby in the pit DLC in Fallout. It's a modded thing. Oh shit, why did I fuck that up? I'm so fucking bad at dodging saw blades, holy shit. I'm dead. <laughs> down, boys, down! I just think it's one of those insane things where people are walking around thinking that Bethesda put baby eating in their video game. Like, it's just a thing, like, there are people out there who are just walking around that think that you can eat people, you can just eat a baby in Bethesda's pit DLC for Fallout 3. Coming out of my cage and I'm doing just fine. <laughs> gotta, gotta be fast because I want it all. All right, we gotta watch out for the big thingus, and we also have to avoid the blades. I got this now. I know what's happening now. I get it. I know the controls for it, so I can run. I can jump and crouch and roll and jump and crouch and roll. There we go. Back into the hole we go. Oh, foul sludge. Oh, I gotta watch out for the sewer spew. Not even in Splatterhouse could they avoid putting a fucking sewage sludge in it. Son of a bitch. Doesn't even hurt me. It's just shit out the fucking poop hole. They really went blood and poop heavy in this sewer level, didn't they? Oop, shit. I got rolled. There we go. Big club. Now that's what I'm talking about. I want to get my chainsaw so I can skin my enemy's ass raw. Don't grab me. Don't touch me. I'm not a little treat for you. I refuse to be a little treat boy. I refuse to be in a package, so you can open up the package and you find a couple of me's inside of there. That's for Oreos, not for me. I'm not an Oreo or any kind of snack, cake, or cookie. Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking eat me. If I was alien food, I would make sure that I defecated right in the alien's mouth. But if they're an alien, they might also like that, so... This game screams limped biscuit? No, this game definitely screams like, I don't know, voodoo by Godsmack. I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the snake bite enter my veins. Never did I wanna be here again, and I don't remember where I came. Definitely also, yeah, I think a little bit of Slipknot, maybe. All I see is a John Cena standard. You know what, he is built like John Cena. I should be out here going... You know what's crazy, though, is you said you can see... All I can see is a John Cena standing. Huh. Huh. But John Cena says you can't see him. So what do you mean? I fucking... Thank you. I'm really afraid that I'm going to pick up the last picture, the last piece of this picture, and it's going to be, like... Jenny's going to be fully clothed from the waist up, but then she's wearing no pants, so we just got the fully modeled coochie. I'm genuinely afraid to be playing this game, and then the last picture I pick up is just fully modeled coochie right there in Splatterhouse 360. Namco thought they could hide it. They couldn't hide it. Why is that subtitle that just says, watch it, still there? Game having a little bit of an issue in it. 
just a little bit of a problem. Watch it! What? I'm, I already... What, what if I already... What if I already watched it? What if I already... But what if I already watched it? Brendan, just play the Half-Life 2 cinematic mod? No. I'm going to play Garden of Ban Ban before I play that. Oop. That really was a thing that could happen, huh? I... Begging you not to stream Garden of Ban Ban, but there are three Garden of Ban Ban games with more to come. The Garden of Ban Ban cinematic universe is going to be literally insane within a year. Garden of Ban Ban, Gar Gar Garden of Ban Ban is a, uh, it's a really shitty horror game that some company has pumped out three of them within six months. And so they're pumping out another one. The also, the, the, the other funny thing about Garden of Ban Ban, and not even like funny, but like the fucking weird thing about Garden of Ban Ban is the incredibly high co poly count for the models they use. Uh, every Garden of Ban Ban, I think there's a Twitter user who makes a fucking thread about how it's insane that for these simple creatures, the, the poly count on them is, is much, much fucking higher than it ever needs to be. The 10 billion polygon spider. At this point, I feel like Garden of Ban Ban, it's literally a joke game. It's gotta be. I, I really do legitimately think that it has to be a joke game. There's no fucking way it's a real... Like, it's a real thing that people made. Don't the devs legitimately get mad at criticism on Twitter.com? Oh, I did not know that. Ooh. Unless it's all... See, I just I just have a I have a personal hope that uh, Garden of Ban Ban is just a really good art piece. And that criticism of... Get, the, getting mad at the criticism of a Ban Ban is also part of the art piece. If you make a shit game, you just made a shit game. But if you made a shit game and you call it art, anybody can make a shit game. But not everybody can make a shit game and then pretend that it's art. I think if I was in charge of a cooking mama- oop. I fall. If I was in charge of a cooking mama video game, which is to say that I will never be in charge of a cooking mama video game, but if I ever was by some weird happenstance, the universe aligning perfectly, I would make you slaughter every animal you had to cook. I think it'll teach kids where your meat comes from. Kill the cow, Billy. Kill the chicken, Billy. Kill the pig, Billy. Sad you haven't fought the anus demon yet. The anus... What in the fuck? Oh, I didn't... Oh, I pressed X once. I had to continually press X. I, <laughs> I fucking pasted myself against the wall. They really do just got the one loading screen, huh? With Jerry and Gary in it. Good bit. Sorry, everyone. Brendan has a hard time with shapes and colors. No, I just... Son of a bitch. I gotta fucking... I, I I don't have a hard time with shapes. I was just having a hole. What a cool loading screen. I hope we see more of the loading screen than we do the game. We're getting to intimately intimately know these two creatures. I'm thankful for it. Personally, I'm glad we get to intimately know those two creatures. Better than we know ourselves. Not again, not again, not again. Get him. Oh, I have to I have to Okay, alright. For those I have to keep slapping X. Alright, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm learning. It's all about the learning experience. They wish to consume you, Brendan. I'm not gonna let them eat me. That'd be fucked up. Sneed and feed, but not on me. Oh, West is trying to get the servants of the corruption out of the abyss. I fucked up. Jump! I did it again. <laughs> well, I saw a checkpoint, so there's gonna be a checkpoint, but I did fail that jump. We're good. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. Why did I do this again? Now I'm gonna wait for the full fucking 35 seconds for the game to load back up. I don't mean to do it, but I'm just saying we're gonna be spending a lot of intimate time with our two boys here. Uh, it's just because I'm not good at platforming. Guys, he's doing it on purpose. It's just a bit. Yeah, I fucking... Yeah, just a, just a bit. It's just an incredibly elaborate bit. I... <laughs> Uh, it's just, it's just an incredibly elaborate bit. It's just a bit. I just love this loading screen so much. It's just a bit. It, fuck. It's just a bit. It's, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not getting confused. It's just a bit. It's just a funny little bit. I'm not getting confused at all. I'm doing this on purpose. I, this is this is all just uh, part of the Brent Daniel stream experience. Uh, just to see the funny boys some more. I just love seeing them so much. I can't help myself. I just want to see more of the funny boys every time. I love seeing them. I'm just a big funny boy fan. I did it. I had to wait. I was getting really confused because I thought I was supposed to jump on the wooden platform first every single time because it seemed very jump on platformy. Uh, but it, then, I, d then it definitely was a bit after the third time. Definitely was a bit. Definitely was a bit after the fourth time. Definitely was a bit. 100% a bit. You could tell it was a bit because I was saying it was a bit. A oh, blue. All right, let me go. Let me out. Let me out. I killed every demon. 
Let me out of the demon hole. Let me out of the demon hole. Come on, thank you. Door take fucking 13 years to be able to fucking move. How does this game play a decade and change later? Does it show its age? I don't know. I never played this game when I was a kid. Or, well, not even when I was a kid. I never played this game when it was, like, originally released. 2010? So that would have been 14 years ago? 13 years ago? So I would have been 16, right? So I would have been a kid then. Yeah, so I didn't play this game in high school. Oh, fuck! Cthulhu! Fucking epic! Oh, shit. Boob. Okay, see, no boob in that picture. That picture is all okay to pick up. He's hacking and whacking and smacking. Uh, keeps hacking and whacking and smacking. Uh, keeps hacking and whacking and smacking. Uh, keeps hacking, whacking, chopping that meat. Oh, but your beat came into the town. He was having a ball. All you fellas better watch your wives, because Pete don't care whose meat he chops. Love me my sloppy PS3 360 games. Did I, like, jump? Why did it look like my character jumped directly at the lizard? What? Oh, God, do the big boy attack on it. Take you to the blood dimension. Start slugging you around. What did I rip out? It's big eye. Oopie. Eye connected to the brand. Now I picked up the eye. Game called Splatterhouse actually takes place in derelict buildings. Unsubbed. Oh no, but don't worry. I got sounds for you. It's got that. I mean, the game doesn't have that. I have that to enhance the splatter. They blew it up. God damn it. They blew it up. Damn you! Damn you all to hell! They put a bunch of meat in the Statue of Liberty. Little unknown fact for most of you here, there is a bunch of meat inside the Statue of Liberty. You don't know this, but I know this. There's meat inside the Statue of Liberty. They never tell you this, but I want to tell you this. There's meat inside the Statue of Liberty. It's a giant woman. One day she'll wake up. One day she'll wake up and we should all be afraid. She will wake up and we should all be afraid. If we live in New York City. I mean, if you don't live in New York City, you're going to be fine. But she is going to walk towards New York City. Pick up the Empire State Building and throw it really far. So if you don't live... Oh my fucking God, she does have a mouth. Stop stomping on me. Stop stepping on me. She hungry. I got to feed her. Eat food, yummy. Eat food, big yummy. Trying to feed this big lady. Come on. Eat food, be merry. Eat your big meal. If only I had the round meal with me, that can feed up to three men. Any game with a heavy blood motif immediately will always remind me of After Fall Insanity. Every time without fail, I will think immediately of After Fall Insanity. The Meat Factory! This place smells like fuck. Ew. Stinky. Oh my god, look how wet he is. How wet and bulbous our boy is. Aren't you- I- really, I am jealous because if I could have this body type, I definitely would. But I, 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 way too lazy, I, and I don't have, uh, anabolic steroids on tap. If I could choose one body type to look like, it would be this. I'd be, I'd be this, I'd just be jacked. I'd be grabbing a video game controller and breaking it every time. You know, this man literally can't scratch his back. Hey, I'm not even this jacked, and I can't really scratch my back that well. That's just how it be sometimes. Maybe he's got really good joints. You know how flexible he is? Maybe he's really fucking flexible. Like, we don't know. Who needs a neck? I don't need a neck. I don't. I'd rather be incredibly buff and have no neck than be uh, in incredibly not buff with with a neck. I don't need a neck. All, all I want is to be jacked and stacked. Who needs a neck when a neck can be broken? Why does that sound? Who needs a neck when a neck can be broken? What's beef got to do? Got to do with it. What's beef but a thing that you eat? What is it? What is it? Why do they have that same energy? This is where they make the pork and beans. Oh shit, I'm getting wheezed right now and I don't even know it. We're all being wheezed. We're all wheezed together as a family. All right, get him. There we go. I win. Oh, that's not a hole, is it? That's a... Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a blood pattern I thought was a fucking hole that I could go through. <laughs> ah, I can't go through this hole. I'm not Looney Tunes pilled fucking... God, I wish I was Looney Tunes and pilled. Looks like this guy's cruising for a bruising. Oh, what do I gotta do? Grab an enemy. Oh, well, well, let me get some funny health back. Grab an enemy. Throw them towards the impalement chairs. Get on this fucking impalement chair. This is how we open up doors in New York City, baby. Gotta put them on the impalement chair. No, not a butt plug chair. Listen, it's, 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 this game is an adults only. It's not a butt plug. It's not a butt plug chair. It's not a butt plug chair. It's an impalement chair for impalement. It's not a butt plug chair. Don't call it a butt plug chair. Because that'd be fucked up. This is getting an adults only rating. It's not a butt plug chair. I'm not 
pegging that beast, as the kids say. Please stop calling it the butt plug chair. This is so fucked up. Putting you in the pleasure chair. That's where you live forever. There are some streamers that sit and stream in a chair just like that. Gotta be. Mom, check out my new streaming chair. What's the thing poking out of it? Oh, that's for gaming. Listen, I had a gaming tutor, and he taught me that if you didn't put something in your ass while you gamed, you would never be that powerful. If you want to game at the highest level, you have to put something in your ass. Yeah, it keeps you locked in place. It'll center your gaming chakra. You have to center your gaming chakra with the butt plug chair. And what about your chi? Listen, some people center their chakra or their chi by arranging furniture. Me, I have to center it by putting a bunch of shit up my ass. I love my amazing three FPS. Fucking epic. Oop. I went a little too fast there. I uh, went from man to leg. Oop. Going a little too fast for the game there that time. I uh, completely crushed. Flattened, in fact. You could send me in the mail. That's how flat I am. Send a postcard to your mom. Open up the postcard, mom. Oh my god, it's Bren Daniel. Telling all my fans to get a pen pal so that you can send flat Bren Daniels to your pen pal. Going to be doing a flat Stanley, but for adults. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Fucking. Just send, uh, just send a bunch of flat Brent Daniels to, uh, to random people, like, pick up, pick random addresses and send it to random people, and the subheader to the letter is just, hello, my name is Jimmy, I am a seven-year-old fan of my favorite guy on the internet, Brent Daniel, I would like you to go on an adventure with Brent Daniel and then send him back to me when you are done, that would be so epic, just random fucking addresses in your city, and then just see if you get any return postage, oh, yep, nope, those just kill you, okay, cool. Those are not platforms, Brendan. I definitely, I definitely thought those were platforms. I definitely thought those were jumpable. Nope. Not jumpable, in fact. The opposite of jumpable. They, they kill you. You die from those. Oh, what the fuck? Why? Why did you jump scare me with a meat? Why did you scary meet me? Don't scary meet me. Don't do that. Do not PNG meat man at me, please. Oh my God, the walls. They're full of goo and baby. Full of slime. I think I have this big pipe. I love the idea of a scary creature coming after you, but you're big and jacked, so you just fuck them up so it doesn't matter. I just love that. Something about, like, I'm big and incredibly jacked, so it literally doesn't matter if a scary creature comes for me, because I will just beat the shit out of them. Oh, fuck. Come on. Live. Yes! Oh, shit! Oh, God, see to my pants on that one. See to my fucking pants on that one. Jesus fucking Christ. How many shotgun bullets do I even have? That's a lot. What do you mean this thing has, like, a clip? How does that even work? How you got a clip on this, son of a bitch? Groovy. Hail to the king, baby. Boob? Oh, no. Dangerously close to boob. Oh, new shotgun. How nice. How kind. How kind of the splatterhouse gods to give me new shotgun. Yumby. What do I think of Evil Dead? Uh, that's... I can say a lot about Evil Dead. Do you want to open up that that can? Well, you know what? We did just see Ash Body and we had to boomstick. Uh, I love Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2 is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, if I was to rate the Evil Dead movies, all of them on a scale, I would go Evil Dead 2, followed by Army of Darkness, followed by Original Evil Dead, followed by Evil Dead 2013, followed by Evil Dead Rise. Big Boy? Oh, he's the evil version of me. He got Baghead and Chainsaw Hand. Fog. I wish I'd be like that for real. Swallow this. This is my broomstick. There we go. Easy peasy. Is Evil Dead scary or goofy? Uh, Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness are scary and goofy. Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2013, and Evil Dead Rise are just scary. Evil Dead 2013 has a little bit of goofs. Evil Dead Rise has a tiny bit of goofs. Evil Dead 2 seems to be a horror movie that happens to be funny. Evil Dead 2 is very much a comedy horror. Like, it is a horror movie... But it's a comedy horror. Um, it balances it very well, and that's why Evil Dead 2 is my favorite. Whereas with Army of Darkness, it's very much goofy first. With a little bit of scary. Opti head. Evil Dead Rise is so goofy, though. Not really. I've seen it. I watched the whole thing. It's not that goofy. I mean, I guess if you compared it to, like, a modern horror movie, you could say it's goofy. But as somebody who, like, is an Evil Dead 2 head, I don't think it's goofy as comparatively to Evil Dead 2. I think, yeah, it's goofy, but the demons are always more scary in Rise. And also, as somebody who doesn't like horror as a genre, I could see how more a normal horror fan could see it as goofy, whereas somebody who doesn't really like horror movies as a genre doesn't think it's goofy. Not that I don't like them as a genre, I just don't, I just don't like horror movies, I guess, is the better term to put it. 
I'm not a horror buff. I don't like horror movies. I don't like watching them outside of, like, when friends want to watch them. I felt like it was goofier than 2013, at least. Yeah, but 2013 has that ending scene that I really fucking love with the big blood and the demon, and she's just like, fuck this. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. There I go. Whoopee. I'm just gonna goof you. I'm just gonna goof you as fast as I can. Yeah, just getting goofed. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Flash movie? I don't know. I'm not gonna fucking see it. I... Real honest thoughts on it? I'm not gonna fucking see that shit. Thank you, Jim Cummings. Let's own this bozo. Take your chainsaw off. Take your chainsaw off. My chainsaw now. I'm gonna skin your ass raw. Oh, fuck. Chainsaw duel. Do I have it now? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm like a chainsaw. I skin your ass raw! Oh, this is pitiful. He has he doesn't fucking stand a chance. Doesn't fucking stand a chance. <laughs> Belly full of chain, ass full of saw. But right, what's the story with the demon in your head? You wake up in a place and then your girlfriend got stolen by a scary guy. So then Jim Cummings, whose voice is Winnie the Pooh, is like <laughs> And then he goes and he says, put me on. And then he makes you really buff and strong. And then you can kill people with him. He turns you into John Cena, just like this. And the mask gets on you and he does Jim Cummings. But instead of, <laughs> he goes, <laughs> just like that. And now you can't see me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. You know what? After the fact, I didn't like that. The vibes are off on that. I didn't like that. That was ucky. That was very ucky. Why do I even end a hole if there's a hallway behind the eye? I don't get it. Very ucky. What happened to my boys? Where do my boys go? That's a new boy. That's Gerald. Our brand new boy. I cannot believe we got a new loading screen, friend. This is awesome. Oh shit, new guy! A boom, knock the boom, knock the boom, the boom, knock the boom, knock the... Boy, something on the Mega Hogan. Boy, some things they buy. That's a corn type creature. That's a corn type creature right there. Something takes a part of me. You and I were man and bay. My girlfriend with her jiggling breasts. Large. Is that a monkey? It's beautiful. <laughs> what? A monkey. Is it funny, funny monkey? I will kill the funny monkey. I will kill the funny monkey. I will kill the flesh monkey. Oh my god, what? <laughs> fuck you! Oh, fuck off, you son of a... If there's a fucking stage hazard in the monkey fight? Fuck you! God damn son of a... How the fuck do you do that in a video game? That was dumb. That fucking sucked. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I fucking feel right now is very <laughs> I'm gonna go fucking Joker. I'm gonna go Joker mode if it happens again. Ring out! Yeah, very ring out energy there. I'm gonna if I gotta go Joker mode, I'll go Joker mode. Hello, Gorilla Grod, it's me! Other famous DC villain, the Joker! <laughs> Time for me to have what they call a monkey moment. What if the Joker was taking care of a little baby goblin? Hello, Batman. This is my son, Steven. <laughs> Joker, that's not a that's not a baby Joker. Joker, he's green. Did you give a baby laughing gas, Joker? No. He's just a little creature. He's just a little goblin. He's just a little guy, Batman. Can you kill him if I fill him with nerve gas? I dare you, Batman. Can you fucking... What a horrible fucking fight. I'm trying to have funny moments here, but this fight... This fight's making me rigid with anger. I'm rigid with it. Not only am I rigid with anger, I'm upset. I'm getting upset. Oh, 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 oh. Good, done it. Scream Park! Oh, with Dopo the dog. Oh, fucking goddammit, they're gonna clown me, aren't they? Son of a bitch, I can't- I can't handle being clowned today. Don't clown me. Please don't clown me. Not today. Not today. Don't clown me today. They're scary clowns, we're fine. If they were normal-ass clowns, I'd be fucking terrified. These are scary clowns, though. I'm not afraid of scary clowns. Not afraid of scary clowns. Not how that phobia works. 
Has to be a normal clown. Get fucking owned. I defeated your clown warriors. More clown warriors? Motherfuckers look like Sweet Tooth. They even got the fire. Clown Hive is still not empty. Come on. Get rid of them. Oh god, they fucking do sweet kicks. They aren't just clowns. They do the cardboard dancing. Not beatboxing. Fuck, what is it called when they do the fight? Break dancing. These are break dancing evil clowns. Oh my god, just like Bill Skarsgård in IT. That's insane. They do the funny little dances just like Bill Skarsgård in famous movie IT and IT Part 2. If you want to make clown cum, just save up a bunch of normal cum and put that shit in a soda stream. Carbonate that cum. I should never say things again. They should take my word privileges away. <laughs>